Laura from Craft and See with Laura B. How y'all doing today? Um, I've got a lot to do, so I'm going to try to jump right in it. First, I'm going to apologize for the band-aids if it grosses you out, but I burned myself uh, when I was doing uh, coffee dye papers. You know, burned it, putting it in the oven. And then I'm ripping up carpet, and there was some linoleum. I was taking the paint scraper because it's been on there for a long time. Scrape up, scrape, scrape, scrape. You punch it in really hard. And I slammed the corner of that paint scraper as you're going. And you're holding right into the tip of that finger. And this is how much better my burn has, other burn has gotten. I know. I'm really hard on my hands. But anyway, I digress. How is everyone? I'm glad you joined me today. We are working on the Peter Rabbit journal, the giveaway journal. Remember the phrase, here comes Peter Cottontail. Um, you can continue with hopping down the bunny trail if you wish, but just that first part is great. Is sufficient enough along with liking and subscribing these videos to enter you into the drawing. So, what are we doing today? I'm gonna put this, pull my two pages out of here. I have this to mark the spot for one. And we're going to do these two. Is this the one? This isn't. Yeah, this is the one. So, anyway. Duh. Uh, how is the weather in everyone's neck of the woods? It is rainy and dreary here in the Pacific Northwest. And it will be. It has rained since Saturday. And it will be through this coming Saturday at least. Yay. Well, I guess that's why we're called the Evergreen Day. Okay. What I did here, and gosh darn it, I forgot to get the little bottle out to show y'all. I used the, let me get it real quick. I don't see it right quick, so. And God knows where it is on this messy craft desk in this messy, messy craft room. There it is. It's behind some paper. I took the crackle paste in translucent because that's what I bought without knowing that's what I was buying but I actually kind of like it because then I can paint it so I took that along with this here stencil and just put the crackle paste over it I don't know if any of you have used crackle paste but you cannot heat dry it it's the best to just let it dry on its own which I have done so what I want to do with this today, we have two things to do, and maybe one is, this one might be a little bit more time consuming, just because I get the paint. So, let's get some Peppa Tell. Not that I get it everywhere, but just in case. God knows with me. You know, I bought this coffee mug uh, take a slurp with a lid so I don't spill it but whoever designed those lids that doesn't have that little pin prick of a hole in there <clears throat> Mitzi and so there's you know it's hard to get any your sips are like baby sips and it's hard to get a good chug of coffee so I use a straw and of course, I end up knocking it over. Anyway, so that's my only complaint about this mug, the lids. So let me get some best spray bottles I've bought. I'm gonna... And one thing I like about this crackle paste and using the, um... shoot, I didn't put any water in a cup. Did not put any water in a cup. All right, I'm back. I had to find it real quick. So I've got my mug of water. I've got my my paint brushes that I like the best in here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. They're belching and that it's not that kind of channel, so you don't have to listen to it. So what I'm gonna do is just do some painting. Now, I am not an expert. I am not an artist. 
I'm really not an expert at anything other than saying that I'm not an expert. And I just go over the crackle paste and try not to, to get it on the paper because that is not the look I want. So, and I could go over this, drop it, drop it, um, in individual colors, but I just don't have time for that. I ain't got time for that. So, I am going to definitely get that water. So what is everybody doing today? It is, well, it's Tuesday when I film this, but this will go up on Thursday. Like I said, it is wet and rainy here. Yay, wet and rain, wet and rain. What do you expect? What I like about this is as it dries, so as this crackle paste dries, if no one has ever used it before, it, well, it cracks. Let's see how well you can see that. So you get the little micro cracks in it. Um, I've not used it in ever, any other shade. You know, I was kind of shopping and this was what I could afford. And had I known it was translucent, I probably would have not bought this kind. But now that I've gotten it home and been playing with it once in a while, I really like that it's it's translucent. So you can do this with it. You can also, um, I, what I have done is add Distress Oxide or whatever you want to... Um, to it to color it before you put it down but it turns out I tend seem to like this better let's do a little bit of pinks since this journal tends to you know Beatrix Potter is what we in the states at least I don't know about other countries what colors you associate with babies but here in the states we're all about the pastels So, and I like it because it makes it kind of look like rock candy. I think that's what it is. You know that candy that's translucent? You can see through it. If you do it right. All right. Like I said... If I really wanted to take the time, I could do each individual square, kind of like the buffalo check. But none of us want to sit through me doing that. That's one of those where you put the music on and you rock out while you're doing it. And you just kind of go into your zen place. But again... I do not feel like sitting here that long today, and I don't want to keep you here that long. So as long as you don't get the colors, you know, onto your paper, or you don't have a printer that, I guess it's laser, printing that doesn't have the bleed through effect with water that inkjet has I think that's what I've heard but you know quote me and I'll deny it and there's green on here and I have no idea where that green came from oh well you know, it's funny, for those of you who don't do a channel, 
how you can talk to yourself all day long. You can carry on some great conversations until you're on camera. Because apparently then you realize, oh, maybe what I have to say to myself is not something that needs to be said on camera. I'm going to some yellow. Which is more gold than yellow, but hey. I would love to get yet another metallic watercolor set that has more colors in it. But I have plenty of room to go on this one. That's what I keep telling myself. Use, use it up and then you can get more. Well, that was just sloppy. Mixing my blues and there. That was sloppy. Like I said, not an expert at this this painting. But I don't mind the results. Yeah, you know, I've never been an artist per se. I'm still in the finger painting stage of art. Now, what is that? Kindergarten? First grade. Maybe by his first grade they expect a little bit more artistic. The other thing is I, I've been using this mug for a very long time. So I don't know if you can see all the metallic that's under there. But it's there. And it actually, I like the result you get. Oh my gosh, I'm just, just contaminating everything. The result you get when you use like... A um, regular watercolor because it does give it a little bit of a shimmery shine. So, let me. What other color do I want to use? I'm going to just give it a little bit darker. I don't know if you can hear the baby chicks in the background. They are getting so big. So big. They're so big. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten each individual one. And then what I like to do, this is the one I need, is the metallic white. Because then I go over... It with some white and I'll do this with a lot of different projects that I you know me I like my sparkly oh my gosh I like my sparkly I do if I could have my nails done right now I'd have sparkly on them but Mitzi doesn't live next to me doggone her I don't know why she doesn't live next to me she did. She'd be doing my nails and Donna's nails all the time. Mm -hmm. Especially me because I'm very hard on them. I'm very heavy handed. I try not to be. But I am. I'm pretty heavy handed on the orange. Ha ha. So let's do some of this. And you can go over this and go over this and go over this as many times as you want. Or not. More of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. I do not know what that's from. I'm sure you out there in YouTube land will know. Alright. I am pretty satisfied with that. 
it's got different colors. This one is harder because of the lines to keep your watercolor right on top of the crackle. I mean, like I said, if you wanted to take time, you know, hours to do this, you probably could. But, as I said, I don't have time, nor do I expect anyone to sit there and watch me. I mean, I could do it and speed it up, but I don't think my iPhone has enough storage for that. So, all right. So, are you all excited for this journal, for a chance to win this journal? Please let me know in the comments. Okay. There we go. So that is done. Did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. And it'll be dry quickly. All right. So now on to the next project we are doing together. Or you're watching me do it, either, either or. So this is gonna be a center spread. And I thought long and hard of what kind of center spread I wanted to do. You know, do I want to do that? I'd love to do some kind of open thing. You know, like, oh, a flippy flappy, open and open. Like it opens this way on the paper and then it opens again. But I chose not to do that. I have taken, um, and I've done this before. I did it in the, um, I hit a wall journal swap with Nitsy. Um, but I did a larger version. The original version that I um, I got the idea off Treasure Books, Natasha Treasure Books, uses a 12 by 12. Well, obviously a 12 by 12, I didn't want it. I don't want this one to stick out past the cover. This is a cover. I didn't want it to stick out, and it would. So I modified it. I took the paper down. Obviously, here in the States, is small as the paper as large as the paper would allow. So our letter size paper, as large as it would allow, was eight and a half by eight and a half. So I took that, cut it down to eight and a half by eight and a half, and scored it at two and a half and two and a half. And this is what it gave me. It just gave me a small version of, well, it gave me a small version of this. This is my prototype, one of the first ones I made um, <laughs> with my notes all over it. So this is the large version of this. It can go like this or it can go like this. This is the large 12 by 12 version. And so I am choosing to do this one this way because I really like how, how it printed out like this. Now, of course, if you have... Directional paper, one side's going to be fairly upside down, and the other side is not. So I monkey with my printer, and instead of putting the pages, the printed pages in on one way, I... Let me move this before I spill it. Um, so I got one side right side up and the other side upside down. Like on... I know. This one. So this one's upside down and this one's right side up. And I started making it and I went, oh, wait, 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 wait. You need to do that on camera. Cause you know, I'm not used to this. So I end up crafting and crafting and it's like, oh shoot. I wanted to do that on camera. So I stopped myself. I got it all scored, all scored though. So you fold it in half, whichever side you want up, you fold it in half and then you turn it around. So you score it across your halfway fold. So you fold it in half, scored it, this one at two and a half in on each side. So two and a half and six. If I can math right, yeah. So what you're going to do at this point is you are, don't do what I always do the first time and cut along the two and a half inch, but you're gonna cut along the folded in a half part. So this would be 425. And you're going to cut there. And since it's notoriously hard for me to see, 
I break my rule just this one time on this journal and I do a light ink so I can see. And then it's easier for me to use my craft knife as opposed to the scissors. And I come in. So we're at the six inch and you just want to score it to your two and a half inch fold. So there we go. So I'm going to cut right up to here. And you can do like a little slight to the side. So you can cut that off. When I first started my paper crafting journal, one of the first ladies I came across was, well, you gotta have a, was um, the posh paper lady. And she's got some fantabulous ideas. It looks like I need to replace the blade. So there we go. So I've cut there and I will have to clean that up. Look sharp. But she had one of these. She's a great lady. She does a lot of, well, she's posh as she says. Maybe see if I can flip this over and go. Yes, no, that's harder for me. Oh wait, here it is. It's like I have a hard time seeing faint things anymore. No, just stop it. Arg. Okay, this just got to be good enough. And now, where on my desk did I put the cap? Y'all saw it. There it is. I lost this cap for months. And I blamed it on my dog, Izzy, because she likes to chew on the random pieces of plastic she can find. Excuse me while I slurp. Or non-small bits of plastic. She, I mean... If she can get a hold of a screwdriver that has plastic on it, that, you know, she will. She has. She's a naughty girl like that. Trust me, she has chewed up some stuff. My friend gave me a, another leash for her that, that has the bun, the rubberized handle on it. Yep, didn't hang it up. And so she went out there one day and she had chewed all of the rubber off of it. Not the glue, the glue, not the nylon lean leash, but simply the rubber on it. So anyway, okay, here we are. Now this is the part that I want to be seen like this as opposed to this and you can kind of figure it out by going like that okay that's what's going to show or okay that's what's going to show and i rather have this in the background so what you do is you're going to take your cut ends and you're just going to fold them up to and again i can't see so i gotta ink Sorry, I know I said I wasn't inking, but my old eyes don't see this very well. I am very thankful that one of the things my son did not get from my genetics is the need for glasses. I've been wearing glasses since I was 12 years old. I know that's late for some people, but... You know, it still is what it is. Now I'm going to fold down everything down. 
before I glue. Sometimes I get a little quick on the draw, quick draw on the draw, and end up gluing, and then it, it's all wonky, and and then I have to fix it, and do like a moron, and, and like all the self-recriminations, like why did you do that? Why didn't you just wait? Why didn't you think that through a little bit better? So, let me fold it all and make sure I like how it looks. Otherwise, I can fold it the other way. So, down, down. Come on, did I fold it? There. This way, this way, and that way, and that way. So this is what it will look like. Now again, if I folded it the other way, the Peter Rabbit would be in the middle. You know, ignore this part. I mean, I guess you could keep it like that, but you're gonna cut off. That might actually kind of work. You know what, I'm gonna do it this way. Normally I would not. Well, see, then that's upside down. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it the way that I have it. Because you do, you know, I did print it specifically one way, so it would go the way I want it to. There we go. Now, this one, I don't know if you remember, but I kind of had a little, what I thought was a little snafu on my first, the one in the journal swap. Where I glued it, I glued it in a way I didn't like. So this time I glued it to where I could have a little bit of a, get a smaller one. Get that smaller one. You have a little tuck spot right there. And a little tuck spot right here. But this one, I'm going to do even differently. So first, we're going to glue. Glue, 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 glue. As I'm looking around, I just remembered that I had it all set up for me to sew the signatures together signature together. And now I'm trying to figure out what I do with that. What I was going to string it with, I would um, have a yellow, it's yellow gold, in my opinion. But it's come to my attention that I don't, I guess I don't see subtle color variations very well. You know, case in point, uh, my America, my Easter egg or hen lays green eggs, they say. Everybody says it's green egg. But to me, they're, I see blue-green when technically everybody else says it's green-blue. And I don't, there it is. And I don't, do not see the green as easily as I see the blue. Oops, sorry if I knocked the camera. Um... So now, and you know, where I see one color, other people see something a little bit different. And it's not like I'm colorblind. I, I can see colors. It's just that subtle hues where it's not quite one and the other. It's a mix. That's where I have a hard time seeing it. Just like I'm not a fan of teal. Per se. But I love aqua. And if you've ever seen aqua, it's kind of a combination of the two. So here we go. Turn it back around the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue right here this time. So you can have a tuck spot there. That's what I'm going to do this time. That's what I didn't do the last time. I glued it here. The one I did in the other journal, I did it here, here, and here. And the other one, I just glued this part. So I'm going to glue right here. Stop talking and do it before you confuse yourself. And I did not pay attention to what time I started filming this. I just know what I want to do. Come on now, go the right way. 
go the right way. Get this glue before it decides to not straighten up and fly right there. All right. So here is our next one. And yes, Peter Rabbit is upside down out here as he goes here. And then that's where you just stick something on top of it and just say, hey, it's a junk journal. Or what I like to call, always call it, it's a rare misprint. <laughs> that's my favorite. I first started it when I uh, sent my first ever Happy Mail to a creator. And that was Candace with Journal Me Crazy by Candace Johnson. And um, I did a bunch of mini books from my porch prints. And, let's see, my porch prints. Yeah, my porch prints. And one I glued upside down on the inside. You know, in relation to the cover. And I told her it was a rare misprint. So, that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. So, I have already gone ahead and made cards for these. I'll decorate them at some point. Probably not on air. And I made them both so you can have... Ugh, you can come in from this side, which are slightly longer, and on this side. It's just making sure you grab the right one. So there. So that's that. Now, that was the easy part, <clears throat> y'all. That was the easy part. Let's make sure we're dried here. Yep. So now comes the fun part. My most least favorite part is the sewing the signature together. At least I'm not sewing it. Well, I am sewing it into something, but not nearly. Here are my little chickies out there scraping, scrapping. It's funny because they're trying to fly. And for those that don't know, because Joe did not, chicken do fly. Are you making your bed, Izzy? My dog's making her bed. She's a good lammy. Good lammy girl. All right, so there's the cover. There's this. All right, so these are going to go in here like so. And all they're going to do is be, they're going to be sewn in. They're not going to be glued or anything like that. So you will still have this page all free. Are you okay over there? I don't know. She's got this. She sleep, lays on this uh, pull-out sofa I have here. And she... Uh, I put the cushions on it because she has to sleep on the cushions. The couch is not good enough for her. Yes, I know the couch is not good enough for you. And so she falls down in between the cushions. Because I have to put both of them on there for her. Yes, I know. I have spoiled my dog. You know, she came to me. She was one of eight from a, a backyard breeder. And it's obvious she wasn't treated the nice, the most kindly. Right, let's take this stuff out. Oh, I, I finished this front page. So you open it up and that's what you see. I like that. Lots and lots of floss. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. She's a good girl. All right. This might take a hot second, so. I want them somewhat central, but not completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I am one day... Fingers crossed. I mean, it'll happen just maybe next month or the month after or the month after that. I don't know. At some point in the next four months, by my birthday, I would like to get the um, book cradle from Amy, I think it is, at Crafty Cat. Anyone who knows Crafty Cat, please, please correct me if I have gotten her name wrong. It will not offend me. Trust me. 
I've been wrong a lot before. I'll be wrong a lot again. But I always do want to get people's names right, even if I have a hard time remembering them. Anyway, Amy at Crafty Cat. She has some out there. The only one I saw on her webs on her Etsy site was blue. Amy, I know you, I have no illusions that you would watch my video. Sorry if I'm off camera. Um, but if you'd make it in red or like a nice, pretty, oh, a lavender would be great. Because I have it in my favorite. I've favorited it. Favorited it, 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 it. I know. I have a hard time ending words that end in an ED. Like edited, edited, edited. Edited. Okay. Because it doesn't sound right to me either way. I, it's like my brain doesn't know when to end it. So we're going to put this in here. Now I've got it clipped there. And I'm going to clip up here. These are buck 25 store clips. These are buck 25 store clips. These are probably from the buck 25 store too. But I got all these back when it was the dollar. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. It's not the Dollar Tree anymore. It's because nothing's a dollar anymore. It's a buck twenty-five. I might have to take a trip down south. Down south. I say about three to four miles down the road. Maybe five. They have a... Right, make sure I have this all in the way I want it. That everything's right side up. You know what? Just double check your pages, even though I know they are. Right side up, right side up. Oh, I have a piece, just undo it. Right side up, right side up, right side up, right side up, right side up. Right side up, right side up, okay. See, I knew that. I knew it. I just had to convince my brain I knew it. So, back into here. Make sure I have it centered where I want it. Yes, I do. Oh, for crying out Oh. I have a really hard time. I have very limited finger strength. And so, some of these uh, are surprisingly difficult for me to do. Okay, now that I've got that in there. Right side up, there, right side up, there, okay. Now, get it clipped, no, get it clipped. So, here's my all I have two, but I don't want that big a one. This one I don't use as much because it is as bit. It is bigger. And then my these, and we be done with that. So this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do a little bit different. I got the idea off of Natasha at Treasure Books again. She is just wonderful. Natasha, I love you. I know you're not going to rewatch this because you got... She's got like a, over 100,000 subscribers. So she's obviously doesn't have time to watch little channels like mine. And I completely understand that there is no harm, no foul. Okay. So there. And then I'm going to come down and do my bottom one. And I'm just spitballing it. Come through. And again on this one, okay, put that one about there. But what we're going to do is I'm going to come here. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe here. There. 
There we go. But I'm going to do two more. Oh, God, no. It's right on my fly right. There's one. And there's one more. There. All right. Done with you. So, what I'm going to do is when I get there, sorry, I'm looking for the biggest needle, eye of the needle, so I can, because I'm using crochet thread in this yellowy gold color. Yes, I know. So, just a matter of... I need to get more of those needle threader thingies. I don't know what they're called. Oh, come on now. Don't do this to me. Not on camera, please. See that... You heard that with the chickens that's scrabbling there. Fighting for room. I don't, they don't have enough room. But fighting for room. Trying to fly. Yes, I have a lot. This is way more than three times the length of the journal because I have measured it. It is more than eight. But is it a little long? Yeah, it's long. But I do this on purpose because I want to make sure I have enough to tie dangles on. So once you sew it and then you, you know, all that stuff, I want to make sure I have enough room for dangles. So in through, because I want it to tie on the inside as opposed to the outside. We go in here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. And the rest, I know. I know y'all are cringing. I know. I can just see people out there going, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Well, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying. There. Dang it. There. All right. There we go. I'm, not, I'm all, I'm no longer discombobulated. I got it all. I'm all straightened up. And we're going to go back in here. And I always have the worst time. Coming back in. Obviously. Come on. You can do it. I might have to come back through this way. So I can show myself. If I can show myself. It's hard to grab things when you don't have fingernails. I can't wait till they grow just a little bit longer and, you know, well, I'm done with ripping up the floor. <laughs> Once I'm done ripping up the floor. Come on now. Go through. go. Idaho, there we go. Here's a bone. So we want to come back up in here. And then I just try to pull out and go through at the same time. If I can. There we go. See, here we are. And then I'm going to go through this one. Okay. Now we're through here. And this is going to keep the bottom part of this in. Just like that. And then I'm going to find 
Here it is. And draw it. There we go. Come through. What's going on? Is that how I wanted it to do? That is not how I wanted it to do. Come on, get off of there. Nope. This is not how I wanted it to do. Not a big deal. Just unthread the needle. No worries. There. Okay, what did I do? Okay, I went down through there. Come on now. I know once I get this all out of here, it will look and work a lot better. It's just getting it to work the first time. So you're going to see me a bit on the struggle bus. But it's okay. You know, you watch me on the struggle bus, maybe you'll be like, oh, I can do that. I have a way to do that easier. Go for it. I highly encourage any easier way. I, like I said, I am not the end-all be-all of this. I, there's far more I don't know than no. Okay, so now, once again, we came out this way. So I've got one, two, like this and then go through here just that one little hole there we go and then I'm gonna go right back through the one right next to it that we did that I did but we don't want it real tight come on who can do it because what this is going to be, right here, is a little area to attach a charm. And you don't want to do it too tightly, Natasha says. Again, you know, this was her. This I got this idea directly off of her. She has also done it um, for like a pen, like a pen holder. But you don't want it too tight so you can get something through it. Come on, come on, Daisy. All right, here we go. Now, again, like I said, I am not the end-all be-all of this, so. And I can screw up more than I can get right, it seems, sometimes. So, we are going to go right back down in here, in the third. So, this is like the top hole, if you were doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. This is the top, top hole. And then come through here. Hopefully, there we go. Get one on one side, the other on the other side. And the whole point of this was to not have to have 15 billion holes. And then if I tied it tight enough, it would hold that in there sufficiently. So let's see if I did it right. Let's see if I did it right. Well, unfortunately, I seem to come up through this thread, which is kind of what you want to try to avoid. So I'm going to come, I just caught the corner of it. It looks like, if I can see it. Get that out of the way. Hoping that worked. 
Even I know I cut too much thread. There we go. It worked. See how that worked? Just got to have faith, y'all. So, all right. There we go. Almost done. Didn't I? I could have sworn I put it there. Dirt. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. Here we go. So, how we're going to do this. And I may have to go back through and do a little bit of a... I am going to do it right here. I'm winging this. I'm going to get through. I'm trying to push this. There it goes. Mm, there we go. There. So I've come back up there. Then I'm going to come through and try to try and attempt to do this. You know what? That's not. I, I, I have zero confidence I'm going to be able to do that without mucking everything up. There. All right. Where are we? I know I've got so much strength. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Oh my gosh. I'm losing the plot to my own damn show. Oh well. It happens, right? It happens to me a lot. Oh. Trying to do this on camera. With this fit. There we go. All right. So, obviously, I don't want, I'm just winging this. I totally have never done this before. So, I could have, like, had everything mapped out and done it completely ahead of time. And so, I know that I'd have no screw-ups, but that's not how I live my life. I live my life by the seat of my pants. Which I know can be really annoying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back through this hole so I can come up through the middle. There. Oh, no, come on. There is a phrase I like to say, but I really can't say it. The whole phrase here because I, you know. Don't want to get in trouble. But it's from uh, the movie that Bridget Jones, original Bridget Jones Diary, the first one. And it's at the very end when all our friends are going to go. They're going to go to Paris to get her over her, you know, tragic love life. And one of my favorite actors in there, uh, James Callis. I think that's how you say his last name. He was in, he was Baltar in... Battlestar Galactica. But he's like, come the F on, Bridget. Because she was taking her time. And I say that a lot. Come the F on, Bridget. And that just means basically get with the program. I tell it to myself. I don't say it to anybody else. It's, it's my thing. So there. It is not as pretty through here as normally because obviously there's more strain involved. But the one thing I am going to do is what... Okay, this is just too long. I overestimated by a lot. So, there. <laughs> I may be too short now, but no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Another thing Natasha does is, and it's, I should have left it strong. It tends to be a little fiddly. And I didn't even check to make sure I had these all tight. Tight enough. Is you go, take one under. Come on, get under there. So this one. 
you go like this and you're going to take it underneath. So you have this. And then you go underneath it. And then at the same time, you use this one. Okay, so I can't. I'm talking to myself. Get this out of there. Okay. So that way. And then under here. And since I'm doing it under this little part. Yeah, let's do it this way. So I can get it under there. Come on. Come on. Oh, let me cut that. I feel like this video is going like forever and ever and ever. And I apologize. So under here. So you got one loop over on this side and you're going to have the other loop over on the other side. It doesn't matter which side you start with as long as you do that. And then like I did on this one, you go back through the hole. Oh, for This one worked better than there we go and you tie it like this and that gives you the same knot the same security but it doesn't bulk it up and i know i did not probably did not explain that well enough but that is basically it so now you have your signature sewn in I've got my long, 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 long strings, which I won't need them this long, but I hate to not have them because it's, I've had it to where you can't, that's a little loose. That's looser than this one. Oh, well. Oh, well. It, it'll survive. It'll survive. Um, I'd rather have too much string that I have to cut off and then not enough because that has happened to me before. So, here is the sewn in signature and I am trying to find make sure there's something in here I can I can clip ish now here's a bulb clip so here's a bulb clip so now you have your signature shown in and up here this little and it's not as good, well done as I wished it would be. And now you have a place that you can put a little dingly dangly charm on or whatever. And you don't have to worry about it. So there you go. There we have it. So what have we done today? And I'm like looking around going, if I left a page out of here, I'm going to be mad. So the story so far. This is what we have. Sewing in. Oh, that didn't quite. Yeah, it did. There. There. Everything's sewn in. Our center page with this. It's a little looser than I'd like, but hey. Live and learn. And get loves. There we go. And where did our, our crackle page go? I lost right over it. Here's a crackle page that this is going to fit into beautifully. And thank you so much, Keon, for this idea with the acetate. I love it. There's that. There's our signatures. We'll decorate that. I'm probably off camera because I only have a week now. And there we are sewn in and nothing's going anywhere. So yay us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me as I struggled through that a little bit. As I said, I probably should have practiced that before I did it on camera, but why bother when I can just do it on camera and be on the struggle bus? So, there we have it for today's video. I thank you for joining me. Don't forget, tomorrow, which would be yesterday to you by the time this goes up. So, yesterday, we had the reveal flip through for I hit a wall journal swap I have done mine except for the brief like one minute and 20 something seconds 
of me introing it. I did the rest in that AMSR, ASMR, ASMR um, style. So all you hear me doing is flipping through the pages and any background noise. So that is coming out on Wednesday. This is obviously on Thursday, so you will see it on Thursday and all this information will be old by then. But if you hadn't checked it out when you watch this video, please go back and watch the reveal, the flip through of I Hit a Wall Journal Swap. And I will be coming out with a video this Saturday on um, the Tommy Tommy's Challenge, Paper Crafting with Miss Tommy, her Think Outside the Box Challenge. Think Outside the Box Challenge. Um, and my, I will give you a hint, mine is going to be on fabric. Anyway, so I will talk to you next time. I hope you have a great week and have had a great week. And peace out. Bye.